You may think that if you live in a right to work state, you make less money, but is that really true? A new study actually shows that employees in right to work states are richer than those in union run states. Here now is Vincent Vernuccio. He is the director of labor policy at the Mackinac Center for Public Policy, the group that did this most recent study. Good morning to you, Vinny. Hey, Beth, thanks for having me on. Uh, absolutely. Well, tell us a little bit about uh, what you make of these numbers, because I want to I, I want to put these two up here. It's a chart after 2000 that really shows how things began to change. And now people in right to work states are getting a lot more for their money, a lot more bang for their buck. So tell me a little bit about this study. That's right. What you're talking about is cost of living. And when you factor in cost of living, workers in right-to-work states actually are making about 4% more than uh, workers in forced unionism states. So let's talk about what is cost of living. That's, uh, you're in a right-to-work state, things are actually cheaper, so your dollar goes further. And uh, you're in New York, you know how insanely high rent is there. Much different. Well, you compare, you compare that rent, which uh, in average in Manhattan is about 3400 bucks. Two grand will get you a shoebox of Department. You compare that to a uh, mortgage in Alabama, which is about 800 bucks. Now, unions are saying, well, workers in New York are making more than Alabama, so since Alabama's a right-to-work state, that means right-to-work is making less for workers. But the, the dollar goes further in Alabama, Absolutely. so they're actually doing better. And Vinny, I, I want our viewers to be able to see this in more visual terms because some people don't understand the shoebox uh, Manhattan mentality. A can of tuna in Michigan costs a dollar and twenty cents versus in Connecticut, it's a dollar and ninety nine cents. So that's a quite a big difference there. Also, a gallon of milk in Michigan is two dollars and fifty nine cents versus Connecticut three dollars and fifty nine cents. I believe. Yeah, here's the graphic here for you. A dozen eggs in Michigan, a dollar sixty eight. Connecticut two twenty nine. A jar of Tylenol. Michigan, Michigan, 872, Connecticut, 999. Those are some pretty big differences. So uh, how does all this really matter for people who are in unions or, or people who are uh, wanting to be in right-to-work states? Well, my colleague James Holman at the Mackinac Center, he crunched these numbers, and the, uh, the findings are really interesting because the unions like to be cheeky. They're always saying, oh, well, it's actually a right to work for less state. And now remember, right to work simply means that a union can't get a worker fired for refusing to financially support them, but that worker can still collectively bargain almost for almost anything else. So it's one of the main points in the union narrative that workers are making less in these right to work states. And when you factor in that cost of living, that narrative is simply untrue. Uh, Vinny, thank you so much for your time today. Also, this is pretty interesting to me. This, your study found that in 2001, right-to-work states added 1.7 million jobs as opposed to 2.1 million uh, were lost in non-right-to-work states. So a lot of great information for us. Thank you so much and enjoy uh, the Super Bowl tomorrow. Hey, you too. Thanks for having me on. Uh -huh.